All right, what is going on, guys? It is your boy TKD. Want to be here back here in PlayStation Source. Of course, yesterday we went over all of the huge games and my favorite games that were PlayStation exclusives in the year 2020. We did that yesterday. Make sure to check out that video as well because if you don't, why? 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 When you watch that, you know what I'm saying? So definitely go check out that video uploaded yesterday. Uh, but today we're gonna talk about the future, right? The PS5 is out. It's in the wild. It's doing this thing. If you can get your hands on it. However, how are we looking in terms of games in 2021? We have a few here to talk about. A lot of them I'm very, very, very excited for. And let's go over PlayStation in 2021. So first up here, I'm going to talk about a game that I'm not particularly too hyped for, but, uh, you know, it's gotten some rumbles in the community. That is, of course, Destruction All-Stars. And so this is the, you know, this is the first supposed answer to us asking for multiplayer experiences in PlayStation, uh, at least first or second party, because this is more of a second party type of game, uh, you know, in its offering in terms of exclusivity, right? So it's this, like, really weird, like, vehicular combat type of game, multiplayer only all that good stuff and uh, this was supposed to be at launch for ps5 but like you guys probably already know it was delayed and it will now be the ps plus game for february and i think two months after that as well so i'm just curious to see how this game does you know what i'm saying because uh i think they knew uh very very quickly that this game was not going to sell during the launch of ps5 for 70 dollars right like i don't think you know a wide span of people were going to buy this game and a game like this definitely needs a very 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 healthy and very uh you know full multiplayer community so i feel that uh you know this game is gonna have that with it being on ps plus for free and i think that it's gonna find a audience and could have that same momentum just like rocket league did just like fall guys did where they debuted on playstation plus and they were a big hit so we'll see how it goes i'm looking out for this one just kind of sort of you know what i'm saying like i'm definitely gonna cover it here on the channel i'll play it here and there and we'll see how we feel about it in february next up here this game i am extremely extremely hyped for i cannot wait for this game i've been tweeting at the devs at m ember labs i believe was called ember labs um uh and uh i am in love with this game since i first saw it this is of course kena bridge of spirits yes it's pronounced kena i know people say kena i used to say kena it's kena i guess kena bridge of spirits I can't wait for this game. It looks like a playable Pixar movie. It looks so fantastic. You are essentially, uh, you know, using these rots and you're, you know, doing these puzzles in the environment and you're like doing the story or whatever. It, it, you know, all that aside, what is getting me into this game is the way this game visually looks. We've gotten a little bit of gameplay here and there. I would love to see a full state of play of this game eventually because uh, I am very, very excited for this game. It is coming to PS4 as well. They they even like have really detailed how the game is changing from PS4 to PS5 as well. So that info is already out there. That's really cool to hear as well. But overall, I am very, very excited for this game. This is definitely one of the big indies coming to PlayStation that I am definitely looking forward to. Cannot wait to see what comes of Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Next up here, this one we talked about here on the channel a few days ago, and I will be talking more about it because there is some more info about this game as well. That is, of course, House Marks Returnal. So this game, I talked a lot about this on Droke's Games Cast, and I really am excited for this game because I'm a big House Mark fan. I loved me some Resogun, loved me some Dead Nation, etc. So seeing them go to this kind of third person, more roguelike type of game, I think is going to be really, really interesting and it seems like with the way the combat looks in some certain gameplay segments that we've gotten it looks like it's going to retain that arcade feel of having these very very vibrant very fast paced firing weapons and you're you know have this dash ability as well which is very much as like which is very much an arcade thing uh from what they have developed before in the past so i'm just really excited to see this there's some sort of narrative reason to why it's a roguelike why you keep doing the same run on this planet and different stuff like that it looks really cool i'm very happy for this game i would just want to see how they you know manage a you know much bigger and much more of a broader uh scope in terms of a third person action game as opposed to their arcade games in the past i'm really excited to see how those two blend and i'm very excited to see housemark again because i love housemark you know they pretty much uh you know did a few things after resogun but i just never checked them out really so i'm really excited to see what returnal comes to look like in 
2021 with the PS5, of course. Next up here, if you've been following the channel pretty closely, you know that we are already streaming Ratchet and Clank. The whole stream series is going down, and that is all leading up and building up towards Ratchet and Clank Rifts Apart. This is going to be the game that I think is going to really show off the PS5 in a whole different way that we haven't seen yet before. In terms of, you know, it's 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 all about these rifts opening up around different planets, I guess, in the Ratchet and Clank universe, and uh, you know, you're going to be able to just go through those rifts and go into a completely whole new environment just like that with the power of the SSD. I'm very excited for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And honestly, you know, going off of the story so far, like you know, going through, uh, we are right now on up your arsenal on the third game in the series uh we still have a ways to go but i am already hooked with ratchet and clank as characters i'm very excited to see where they grow where they where they you know go off into and different stuff like that very excited to see the adventure we get to play at rift apart on rift apart on ps5 very excited for that cannot wait for some ratchet and clank in the modern day baby let's go yo give me that ps5 ratchet and clank i'm very very excited next up here i i would have never guessed I would have had a Final Fantasy game on my most anticipated 2021 games for PlayStation uh, n even a year ago, to be honest. But Final Fantasy VII Remake has completely changed my whole perspective on Final Fantasy, and I am hyped for Final Fantasy 16. okay? I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to actually play it day one, right? Because I do want to jump into Final Fantasy 15 um, after I'm done beating Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So that, that is going to be like my next big kind of RPG. And uh, I'm very excited to see what, you know, Final Fantasy 16 does to the whole formula and what it does for Final Fantasy as a whole. I'm very excited for it. Uh, it looks really cool. Granted, it is an era and like it is a time and it is kind of a whole vibe that I'm not particularly down with. Like it seems to be more of like a you know like medieval type of uh you know that like high fantasy type of stuff which i'm not really that into but i mean you know if the combat's good and the story's good maybe i fall in love with it who knows like i definitely love the more cyberpunk type of uh vibe and type of you know world that is in like final fantasy 7 for example but uh who knows man maybe i end up like in final fantasy 16 who knows? We will have to see when it comes out, but uh, I'm definitely very excited for Final Fantasy 16. Cannot wait for that game. Uh, I really, really can't wait for it on PS5. Next up here, of course, this one is a given Horizon Forbidden West. I loved me some Horizon Zero Dawn. I do want to play Horizon Zero Dawn again on stream. However, I do hope that Guerrilla Games eventually puts out a PS5 patch for that game because I need that game in, in uh, you know, full 60 frames, please. But um, Horizon Forbidden West, I'm very excited for it. Cannot wait to see where Aloy goes in the future. What's this whole thing with Silence in the trailer? Like, there's some things where, you know, uh, what Silence was doing in the trailer kind of ties into what he did at the very end of the first Horizon Zero Dawn. So it seems like he's going to be the main antagonist in the game. Very excited to see how that all unfolds and how that all goes in Horizon Zero Dawn. And also, I want to see more of the world. Like, I really want to see more of, uh, you know, the West Coast where I live right now. Um, you know, we saw a lot of kind of like the, the like central, like middle slash East Coast kind of sort of in the original game and i really do want to see how they expand over like we already see parts of san francisco in forbidden west in the trailer so very excited to see how you know that side of the world looks in the horizon world and most of all of course most importantly i definitely want to see my girl aloy do some crazy stuff and uh, take out you know some of these machines and all these good stuff so i'm very, very excited to see horizon forbidden west can't wait to see how it uh is you know bolstered and powered up by the ps5 Cannot wait for that as well. And the last game here we got to talk about here is God of War Ragnarok. Now, I did do a video about what I'm about to kind of just say in a very uh, limited way. And I go into a lot more detail about my thoughts on this topic in that video. I'll link it over here in the YouTube card. But God of War Ragnarok, let's talk about it, right? So it said that it's going to be launching in 2021. I personally don't think it's coming out in 2021. I think that was just a, you know, a year thrown out there just to build some hype for the game i don't know but i don't think it's coming out in 2021 or at least the version of ragnarok that i want to eventually release i don't think it's conceivable to even come out in 2021 maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong i don't know i've been wrong about a lot of things and i don't know anything really extensive about game development right like i just talk about playstation but i think that um you know i think that 2021 is already packed with really really good stuff that i don't think we necessarily need god of war ragnarok but 
I'm still hyped for the game, right? Like, like I still want to see what happens after God of the War 2018, of course. Like, I definitely want to see what unfolds from that. And playing it recently as well, it's like, oh man, now I want it even more. Um, but, you know, again, that doesn't take away from the hype I have for the game. I cannot wait for God of War, God of War Ragnarok. I cannot wait for that game to come out. Can't wait to see how it looks on PS5 and everything. And uh, we'll see, um, you know, how that all turns out. But I definitely am not expecting it in 2021 so i think that that's probably a safe bet to say who knows again i could be wrong but those have been my top games that i'm excited for in playstation in the year 2021 we're gonna go over them one more time we have destruction all-stars kane that bridge of spirits returnal rise and clank ripped apart final fantasy 16 horizon forbidden west and god of war ragnarok so hope you guys enjoyed the video down below let me know your thoughts what big games are you looking forward to on playstation in 2021 you have any big ones that i i i, I forgot to mention a little indie that you're hyped for whatever or just any games that you are hyped for in 2021 it doesn't have to be playstation exclusive i just did ones that are only releasing on playstation but i figured i'd just throw in uh you know in the comment section i'll leave it open to you guys however you want to use it which games are you hyped for in 2021 and also while you are down there to check out our description where you can find links to our discord our twitter and our anchor link that way you can listen to a long form content and podcast so i'm at those of course being road to ps5 and road to miles rouse those two are done and wrapped however some of these games here on the list are getting road 2 series you never know some of these are getting it i think you can make a ballot guess on which ones are let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as to subscribe to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. And make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as to subscribe to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you all for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.